Hello everyone. On my compositing tips video, someone in the comments asked about gobos, so I will attempt to answer that. Uh, in regards to gobos, you can either use an add-on or you can make it yourself. I do both. The add-on I use is called uh, Gobos Light Textures, I think. Uh, it's a very handy way to have quick uh, gobos, but you can also make you make uh, one yourself. Um, first, let's talk about the scene. So I have, I mean, I wouldn't call this a three-point lighting because it's there's no rim light. It's it's a bit weird, but it's just two medium uh, intensity lights and then my key light. Uh, I set the strength here to zero just because otherwise the, the thing would be overexposed just to show you. But so the way you add a, a gobo is using a, a simple, it's very simple. You use a, a noise texture. So if you click on your light and then you need to check use nodes, you, you will have this uh, you'll have this, uh, these two nodes, the light output and the emission one with a strength of one. So what we do is add a noise texture and then a color ramp. You plug the factor of the noise texture into the factor of the color ramp and then the color into the color. And then you can control the strength of your, you can control how much black and white you want in your uh, noise texture. You can also change the scale. So let's go for instance here, let's go with 16 maybe. You can tweak the detail. Um, yeah, I forgot, you want to set this to 4D so that you have this W parameter that you can control as well to change the, the layout of your, of your noise texture. I think the strength is too much, maybe I'll tune it down a little bit. There you go. I think this is fine. And yeah, as I said, if you use the with the W factor, as you can see, you can change. Uh, so f for me, for instance, I want this, these little light and shadow patches on my uh, on my mesh so I can control this uh, W parameter right here until I see something I'm satisfied with like this for instance and yeah don't don't be scared to, to play with all these parameters uh, yeah sorry oops and if we switch you can see I, I changed my I didn't I didn't want my light to be I wanted to be to keep uh, to keep the bottom part of my mesh a little bit flat and have the gobo act only on the top part. That's the choice I made, but you can do whatever you like. So this is the way you create your own gobos. It's very simple. If you want to go a step further, you can also use an image texture instead of uh, the noise texture by going to a Google image and just searching for, uh, let's say, leaves, gobo, images, and then in tools, you go to color and then set it to transparent. And you can choose one of these. Or let's say you want water instead. So whatever object you want, and then you add gobo after it. You're going to have uh, yeah, some results that you might want to use. But I find that the, the noise texture is, is more than enough. You want to keep it simple. Another tip I would like to add that might seem a little bit contrary to the last, to the last one is you don't always have to use gobos. Sometimes you can use a simple light with a low spread and that will make your scene look good. Um, I remember when I was starting out, I, I was too afraid of touching anything else that's different than the power. So my advice would be to play a lot with the spread. It's, it's a, a very handy parameter to tweak. So as you can see in this scene, the vibe here is kind of minimal. There is this wireless wireless toaster with a simple kitchen aid logo and so adding a gobo here wouldn't make sense because if you have let's say patches of light and then or you have like leaves it doesn't make sense with the whole vibe of the scene that's just my opinion 
So I just put a simple area light, as you can see, with a spread of seven, a very low. Sp uh, I didn't put, for instance, zero because uh, it would be har the light would be harsh. It's, it doesn't look good. So you want values that are higher than zero or yeah, even one is too much. Yeah. So seven looks good to me, but you also notice that it adds this kind of gradient on the toaster. So the shader on this toaster is. Uh, there is a bump node on the on the. Uh, there's it's not even connected, so there is no bump node. It's just a simple pr principle to BSDF. Yeah, this light casts itself on the on this uh, toaster, and it gives this, it gives this gradient, which looks really good in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great day.